Some people, because of their qualities, because of their choice, and this is the justice in Islam, Hudan wa Rahma. Quran is a guidance for Al Muhsinun. Quran is a mercy for Al Muhsinun, not for the unjust. The unjust will not benefit. This is the ruling of Almighty God. Now I will relate to you something else from Quran. When the Prophet Ibrahim السلام, actually the Messenger of Allah, Ibrahim السلام, he made dua, he made pray for his offspring. He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him, قَالَ إِنِّي جَاعِلُكَ لِلنَّاسِ إِمَامًا I made you an imam, a leader, لِلنَّاسِ for human beings. إِنِّي جَاعِلُكَ لِلنَّاسِ for humanity. Ibrahim is the leader of humanity. إِنِّي جَاعِلُكَ لِلنَّاسِ إِمَامًا Then, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Asked Almighty God and said, Qala wa min dhurriyati. He said, Oh my God, make some leaders from my offspring also. So we can we can understand that Ibrahim السلام, was the leader of the humans in that time because he asked Allah to make the other leaders from his offspring so there will be leaders after him so he is not the single leader uh, and then because of that reason we understand that he was the leader of his time leader of the humans he asked Allah to make leaders to bring out leaders from his offspring قَالَ وَمِنْ ذُرِّيَّتِي Allah said in his response to Ibrahim alayhi salam قَالَ لَا يَنَالُ عَهْدِ الظَّالِمِينَ He said My promise will not encompass the unjust ones Even if they are from your offspring My promise will not encompass them They will not receive my promise whom they are, they are the unjust ones from the offspring, from the children of Ibrahim a.s. So the race is not important. The important thing in Quran, in the sight of the Creator, is the choice of the person himself. Allah didn't say to him, yes Ibrahim, I will bring out the leaders from your offspring, although I will guide them all as you want. Allah said, I will bring out some leaders, but they will be from the just ones between them. I will not give any leadership. I will not give, I will not make an imam, a prophet, a messenger, anyone unjust between them. Because my guidance is not proper for the unjust ones. This is the law of the Creator. His guidance, He do not give, He do not, He does not give His guidance to those unjust. Wallahu la yahdil qawm al -dhalimin. Allah does not give hidayah, does not lead person, lead, pe lead the people whom are unjust. So Quran, it's the most valuable thing we have on the earth today it's the speech of speech of the creator and it's full of wisdom full of guidance and mercy but no one can benefit from this mercy except those who are al muhsinun so if a person himself is not muhsin Think about a, a Muslim who, ha, who uh, born as a Muslim. 
in Muslim society, but he is not a muhsin. He is not a good doer. He will not be able to keep this value in himself because بَلَا مَنْ كَسَبَ سَيِّئَةً وَأَحَاطَتْ بِهِ خَطِيئَتُهُ فَأُولَئِكَ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ If he is a wicked man, if he continue to his wickedness, if he disobey Almighty God, if he do not acknowledge the truth, he will lose his Iman in the end of the way or maybe in the mid. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not remain him, will not remain him as a Muslim, as a Mu'min. Because he will not benefit from that society, from the Iman in that society. As if he is, in, he is in not in that society. Because here is, the, here is the most important things, most important criteria is the choice of the person himself. Quran is a guidance, Quran is a rahmah for al muhsinun So according to this ayah, if a muhsin, if a good person read Quran, no matter wherever he are, no matter from any, uh, any race he is, he will see the reality, he will understand the truth from this Quran, and he will receive the rahmah from this Quran, Hudan wa rahmatan lil muhsinin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to our Prophet Muhammad when he was trying to explain Quran, the revelation of Almighty God to Quraysh, to his folk, some of them accepted and became a Muslim, make shahada and became a Muslim. But most of them refused, they rejected him. And the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was so sorry because of their rejection. And he was thinking about them, how they cannot, how they, how they do not accept Islam, how they do not accept this clear science of Almighty God. Why? they jeopardize their hereafter why they put themselves in this risk why they deny their creator how they can worship some things some idols or some people other than almighty god why they do not accept allah azza wa jal said to him falallaka bakhi'un nafsaka ala atharihim إن لم يؤمنوا بهذا الحديث أسفا. You will, if you continue this state, uh, thinking about the, these people and being sad uh, about their rejection, you will lose your life because of because of this sadness. Be sure and be aware that you will not. give hidayah or you will not be able to explain the truth or you will be successful in warning those who has the fear of their Lord and those who follows the remembrance those who follows the remembrance when they remember the truth when they see the truth, they follow it, they acknowledge it. This is the quality you need. This is the person you need. So seek them and convey the message to them. You can only warn them. Otherwise, those who close themselves and those who refuse the remembrance, those who refuse the truth, you cannot give them anything. You cannot warn them you will not be successful for them and this is not the failure of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it's the nature of quran hudan wa rahmatan lil muhsinin quran is a guidance and is a mercy for al muhsinun not for arabs not for
Kurds or for Turks or for any nations. It's for the Muhsineen, for the good doers of the only one God, the servants of the only one God. And you can find many ayat in Quran about this uh, reality and it's, most, it's very important. Allah says, وَنَنَزِّلُ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ We are, we send down من القرآن, from the Quran. So Quran has revealed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but Allah Azza wa Jal still sending down a healing, a shifa, ما هو شفاء, whatever named shifa, named healing from Quran. So Quran is the gate of shifa. Quran is the gate of uh, healing. Allah, if you want to receive healing for yourself, for your family, for your nation, then open Quran, open the Quran. You will receive that healing from your Creator. وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاء Whatever thing named healing, you, you will find it in Quran. مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ And whatever rahma, what kind of rahma, any kind of rahma, mercy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is still sending them from Qur'an. وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ But for some people, not for all, for some people, مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ Those who believe the truth, those who believe in the truth, not those who deny the truth. ما هو شفاء ورحمة للمؤمنين ولا يزيد الظالمين إلا خسارة and the Quran does not increase the wrongdoers nothing but lost أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته